So, our old lawnmower took a uh, unexpected death after 10 years of performance in the swamps there. Uh, she finally gave up the ghost. Wasn't the motor, it was the, uh, it was the uh, carriage, this piece here. Uh, it rotted through. But it was a good mower. So now we've got a new one here and I've got it up on the bench here because I had to assemble it. Uh, what we got, you know, it's kind of funny. It's a lawnmower, okay? Uh, it's a uh, Briggs & Stratton motor on a Toro. It's a 21-inch uh, self-propelled. Yeah, they call it a recycler. We used to call them uh, a mulching mower, but today I guess it's called a recycler. It was pretty simple to put together. All you had to do was bring up the handle and uh, put these two knobby bolts on. Though they don't tell you, but there's two holes. So I guess for a tall person and a short person, not much difference in height there if you notice. But hey, I guess it can happen. You also had to string the start pull cord up here. And up here, my assumption by the pictographs is the back one is your death, uh, dead uh, start bar. Basically, you know, you've got to have it up to fire it. Uh, it also says, though, that you can rabbit it and go in here to different speeds for the motor. Down is, is going to shut it off. The top one is your drive gear that runs it. Funny thing about this, the instructions here, for the lawnmower. Now I'm hoping you can see this. I don't have the lights on in the garage, so. Um, it's pretty basic. Uh, tells you some safety stuff like usual. Here's the part that gets me. Now you better be good at pictographs and uh, here's your instructions. It's all pictographs. There's not a word in here about anything. You have to, I guess, figure it out. Um, this section here is all about having to add oil. The problem is, do you notice here, it doesn't tell you how much oil. You just start playing with it, I guess. Well, I, I did a little different here. They gave you another instruction book. Now, this is what I would expect from any equipment, and I keep all my books. But this is only for the motor. So I looked it up, looked up the motor in this little magazine thing here, and the only thing I can say is I've got an 09000. Because the model number on here, it doesn't say that at all. It says 09P something, 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 so guess we'd assume it. And in there it says <clears throat> that the engine, in fact, all of the engines take 15 fluid ounces. What they put pack in here is 18 fluid ounces. <laughs> yeah, so if you dump the whole bottle in there, you've overfilled it and you can have some damage. I think that's kind of crazy that they don't tell you. Again, more pictographs, all kinds of pictographs. Here's a, here's, this is supposed to tell you that the bottom bar is your throttle and the top bar is your drive. How it's depicting it is, I guess, in these little pictographs. Well, we've got her all together. I'm pretty sure we've got it figured out. Uh, we dumped the oil in, we've let it set, we tested it. Um, on this one here, you've gotta make sure that you put this stick in and turn it and then release it, pull it back out. 
And let's see if I can hold my hand straight. No, she won't focus. Sorry. You can kind of see the oil there. We're a little, we'll probably take a little bit more oil once I get her and then we'll take her down and give her a test start and uh, we'll see how that works out. So hopefully it's a good unit. I don't know yet. We'll find right. out. So we got enough oil in it and we tested it out. The uh, She pulls nice. I mean, you pull a, a little drive handle and she will pull you. It's quite interesting. I don't know when you've got a full bag of grass on it, how it'll work. I did put the bagger on it, though I never really ever use it. Uh, that's why I have a recycler, so I don't end up with a big bag full of grass. But I do have one thing I did wrong. I didn't do it wrong. I just didn't understand the pictographs. And that is the bottom bar here is actually what drives the wheels. It's this top big one that you've got to hold down to start it and run it. And it starts real easy. Um, and then there's got this little plastic thing, so you want to be careful of that shield back there. So we can come out here and First thing is you pull that back. Yeah, it's a little tough with one hand. Pull up on that. Don't go. It still works. And uh, yeah, so I've got it set up. I normally use a uh, my John Deere on here. This is for all around the areas that we can't get with the John Deere. And I've got it set the same height, but I think we need to go a little lower. It didn't really cut that much, so. All right. I guess overall at this point I would have to give it a, I don't know, a scale of 0 to 10. I give it an 8 at this point because I'm really not thrilled with the instructions. I figured it out. Got a couple things wrong there in the back, but um, most people, you know, uh, want to see a little bit more, a little more instruction. This gives you nothing. This is as basic as it gets. I guess that's so they can sell it all over the world and they don't have to worry explaining anything. They just show you a picture. So I'm not happy with the instructions. Other than that, it seems so, so far so good. All right, all right, good mowing.